Hi, my name is Mirella and I'm a craft beer and sensory consultant in Toronto. Welcome to my list of four things I think we should let go of as an industry. Today we're diving into number three, cut, complement or contrast. Those who are into food pairing will be familiar with these terms. They're also known as the three C's of food pairing. It's a technique that's been around for years. Now, these concepts are all useful when pairing beer with food, but I'm still seeing them presented as three different techniques or three different ways that you can pair beer with food. Here's the thing. Beer is a complex beverage that brings together many different tastes and flavors all in one glass. If you zero in on the dominant aspect, for example, the bitter roasted notes in a dark beer, and use it to cut, complement, or contrast, you could end up with a great pairing, but you're just as likely not to, depending on the other malt flavors in the beer, the level of sweetness, the level of bitterness, the alcohol content, the body, and so on. It's a gamble. The other flavors could work well, or they could clash horribly. For a compelling pairing, you have to take all aspects of the beer into account. In fact, I would argue that all great pairings have a cut element, a complement, and a contrast all in the same pairing. Here's how it works. First of all, the cut element is already built into most pairings. Beer is a cool liquid and it's carbonated, so it's going to cut through most foods. When you're pairing beer with food, you also want to find a complement, flavors that work together. Beer has many, many flavors that are also found in food, ranging from bread, caramel, coffee, a number of different fruits, herbal notes, spicy notes. So the idea is to find one or more flavors that are present in both the beer and the food, or that complement each other. Now you can stop there and you'll have a decent pairing, but for a great pairing, you want to add a little contrast. Contrast adds tension and results in a more dynamic pairing. Think chocolate cake and chocolate beer. Yes, it works, but it's not exciting. The flavors meld and there's not much going on. Now if you introduce an element of hot chili or of mint, now you have a sharp contrast, the pairing pops and the flavors are dancing. That's your contrast. Of course, there are many different ways to approach beer and food pairing, but if we're going to keep the three C's, we need to reframe them so that they're working together. I think it's time to say goodbye to cut, complement, or contrast when pairing beer with food. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me for video number four.